Hello, everybody. How you doing? I am doing a live stream in the living room. I haven't done this in a long time, but uh, Chewy's back there. She's back there. She's kind of like snuggled in with the pillows. But how's everybody doing? We're going to allow everybody to come into this live stream. I wasn't planning on doing this, but I said, hey, let's just do it. Let's just do it. I was going to do a, actually a video, uh, you know, an edited video. Hello, Westy Kid. Now, Keep in mind, I am watching you uh, on a little tiny phone compared to the big monitors that I usually have on the weekends. Uh, hello, everybody. Thank you for the thumbs up. So I, it's very hard for me to, uh, Gabby, how you doing, to read the comments. However, if it gets crazy, maybe I'll, I'll try to put your comments up on the screen up there on the television screen, so I can see myself on the television screen. But how is everybody doing? Thank you for joining me on this crazy, crazy Thursday. Uh, I actually recorded a video of opening Beauty and the Beast, Emma Watson, this Hot Toys doll, actually it's a figure, it's a figure. I keep saying doll, but it's a figure that I've wanted for quite some time and I actually picked it up. Uh, oh, thank you, so excited. I'm, so, I'm glad you're excited, because I'm excited. I was away in New York uh, for about a week, so I was doing work on my movie, which I'm filming this fall, so I couldn't do an actual video this week. So uh, when I was gone, this popped in the mail right here. Look at this. Emma, Emma herself came knocking on the door. She came, boom, boom, boom. She came knocking on the door and said, open me. But I wasn't home. I was, in on, I was on the East Coast. I was on the East Coast, so I couldn't open Emma. She stayed on my desk. And like I said, I did it. I tried to do a record. Hello, Justin, how you doing? I can notice you because of all those hey's. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, but, um... I wanted, I, you know, I did, I did, I did, I tried to do a video, but I couldn't, you know, edit it in time for this week. So I said, you know, I'm just gonna do a live stream. I'm gonna show you Emma. I'm gonna show you exactly uh, what I got when I opened her up. Um, as I mentioned earlier before, you know, when I first started my YouTube channel, it was the the video that really blew up the channel uh, was the uh, Beauty and the Beast Emma Watson costumes video uh so there's always a there's always gonna be a special place in my heart for that for that uh for that movie um let's see eric you've watched the faculty i have not seen that movie uh but i do um but i do love uh beauty and the beast and like i said it has a special place in my heart uh because i just started my youtube channel when it came out so i wanted this doll I wanted this doll, and I said, oh, well, I'm gonna try to get it. It's actually a figure. I keep saying doll, but it's a figure. So I came home and here it is. It comes in this beautiful box right here. Uh, it came, this is actually bought new. I bought it on eBay. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I'm glad you're enjoying and you're here on the live stream. Uh, I'm gonna try to see your comments as much as I can. Again, the screen is so small uh, compared to what I'm used to. Uh, hello, beautiful toy reviews. How you doing? And I squint a lot. like. So, uh, so this is the box that comes in like this right here. Uh, let's see, right there. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so I got this in and I was so excited. Uh, I did some, uh, you know, watching on YouTube and did some research. Uh, and, I'm, and I don't have any hot toy figures. So uh, thank you, Kathleen. Yes, it's very pretty. It's very pretty. And the magical thing is it slides. Look, Emma disappears. She disappears. No, she's down there. You see, she's down there. So it has like this slip cover like this. Uh, before I take it off, I'll show you the both sides. The back of it uh, has all this beautiful information that you can, you know, you can't read. It's impossible to read this information, but if you want to, you can get a magnifying glass and read that. Uh, and uh, that's pretty much it. You have the logo on top uh, like that. Uh, and the logo on the bottom like that. Um, now it's a, it, the doll, I, I, I didn't really measure it myself, but it says it's about, I think 12, it's, it's about a foot. It's about a foot. Um, but I'm so used to the Disney dolls that are like 17 inches, 16 inches. So this was, uh, it's kind of smaller than what I usually get. But, uh, so, okay, this slip cover comes off like that. So when I opened it up the other day, I took the slip cover off and then you have, of course, Emma right there. 
Now I don't. Now I know there's a lot of controversy. I mean, there still is a lot of controversy uh, about. Um, I'm reading your comments here. It says, uh, "Hello, Dexter. How you doing?" Uh, about uh, Emma Watson playing a bell, but you know, could somebody have else played her? Of course, but I, I, I like Emma Watson, so it works for me. So it comes in this uh, open case. There's, there's no magnet here. There's no magnet. It's just, it's just open. You know, usually like the Disney dolls come with a magnet, but of course this is not done by the Disney store. This is done by Hot Toys. And then you open it up. Now, of course I took the doll out the other day, so I'll show you the doll, but you got the instructions in there uh, about how to assemble her. I'm not sure if you need the instructions. I'll tell you the things I have a problem with because there are some things I have a problem with with this doll. There, there, there are, I mean, it's not, it's not 100% with me, but I'll tell you about that. Uh, overall, I like the doll a lot. So you open it up and it says right here, it says a beauty, uh, no, actually say beauty is found within. Uh, then it says cast and crew. Let's see if we get that right here. Now the cast and crew is not the cast and crew of the movie. It's actually the uh, artists who worked on the doll, which I like a lot. I like that they, they add the uh, artists who worked on the doll because, um, I don't know, it's something about, uh, oh, thank you, aromatically speaking, Shane, my brother. Um, for After Live, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, Shane, my brother, it is, uh, did a super chat. Thank you so much. So this is it right here. Uh, and I like it. Uh, the back, there's nothing on the back. Now, I usually keep my dolls in the boxes. Um, I should go get my, I, I'm not going to leave this live stream, but I should get the box of, like a box of one of my other dolls. But it's too late now. Um, and usually you can just display it in the box. This one, you can't really do that. Uh, because it, it, when it was in here, it was all in plastic and it really, you don't get the full effect if it's, in, if it's in the box like this. So I'm taking it out and it's a figure, okay? It's a figure, it's not a doll. So, uh, so that's the box. It's a really beautiful box, however. So I'll definitely, you know, make sure it uh, stays in good condition. Let's see if I can get this on. Um, I try to keep as many boxes as I can uh, and not throw them away. This one actually came in really good condition, but I love this, the stained glass window. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, this alone, like if I was able to display the, the doll with this in the back, that's beautiful. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, before we get to Belle, I'll show you what uh, she comes with as far as accessories and other characters. Now, it's funny, when you buy this doll, you really just think about Belle. I mean, you just think about Belle and that's what you want to see and and what you really what, what you really forget and if you have this doll, you, you probably feel the same way. When you open the box, you forget all the other accessories that come with it. Uh, for instance, we have, let's see, Mir right here. Look at this. Look how cute he is. And you know what? The detail is incredible. I don't know. Can I, let's see this right there. He's really, really cool. Really cool. I like, I like, I like him a lot. And the thing he comes with a little stand like this. And he just put his foot in there uh, like, like so. And that's how he stands up, and he stands up perfectly fine. But uh, he's nice, he's really cute, and the detail is really, really great. It's really, really fantastic. Um, I mean, it's sculpted beautifully, and it's, he's made out of kind of like a, he's, very, he's a flexible material, so I'm not too worried about breaking him, although I would be very, very careful because he, uh, he can break pretty easy. I mean, if you, if you, uh, Look at, you see, see his arm comes out like that. But luckily there's some bend to him so he doesn't, he doesn't pop and break. So uh, you get Lemire, uh, you get Cogsworth right here, which I have to say is probably the coolest thing ever. The detail on this guy is incredible, really nice. And he's, he's solid, there's, he's holding his watch right there. That's a little bit move, you know, you can move that around a little bit. Uh, but I don't think he's really breakable. He doesn't have a stand because he pretty much stands by himself really nicely, like just perfectly actually, he just stands like that. And you can put him down right next to the mirror like this. Now uh, we have, okay, let's get the uh, Mrs. Potts right here. Mrs. Potts is very small and she's, she's like a plastic, I think, but she could definitely break easily with her handle. So I would definitely, I would definitely worry about the handle breaking. Definitely worry about that because she is so small. Uh, for instance, I'll put her, look, look how small compared to Cogsworth. 
okay? And here's a water bottle, and there's Cogsworth. So you get an idea of the actual size of Cogsworth. Okay, and then <laughs> the actual size of Mrs. Potts. So you can see the size and how uh, she can break pretty easily. But that's not all, because you can also <laughs> break, let's see, Chip. Look at Chip. Look how nice. I mean, there's no way you're going to be able to see that. Yes, exactly. So Chip is even smaller. He's very small. Um, now, I don't know how I'm going to display these. Uh, I mean... I mean, maybe I can get, like, I'm thinking about getting a big, uh, not a big, but like a 16-inch a display case, uh, plexiglass display case to put Belle in, and the figures can, like, be around her. But I don't really like things just, like, um, sitting around, like, laying around. Like, except this can be, this could be, I don't know, it could fall over, you can lose, you could lose Chip. You don't want that. Now, there was one more character that, uh... Hello, guess who what I, oh, I, I you're, you just disappeared, sorry. So your comment just disappeared. Um, there's one other character that came with, uh, actually, is she in here? She might be in here. Okay, let me see, I'm gonna open it up. I actually put her back in here. Let's see if I can take her out quickly. Uh, it's Plumet. Now Plumet, now here's my first criticism about this uh, set. Plumet was, I, 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 listen, I couldn't figure out a proper way to have this to make that thing stand this let me see if I can open this box and get plumet out I don't want to ruin the box but uh, it's it's like weird because you're, you're so used to the Disney dolls being so easy you know you just you buy them and you just display them there's there's really nothing else to it but with this there's so many small pieces and you know that's cool that's fun but uh, let's see okay I should have took this out in the first place, though. Here, here, here's the instructions. It comes with the instructions. Now, you can see Emma's head comes off uh, to put her necklace on, uh, but I assembled her. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you, you, you as uh, Emma all assembled. But she articulates in literally almost every direction. I mean, she goes like this. Uh, she, her head goes like that. Uh, her legs go all over the place. It's fantastic. So you get like these instructions on how to assemble her. They're in black and white, pretty self-explanatory. They have Lumiere here, because Lumiere was, I mean, I, you know, that could be kind of difficult to figure out how, to, how he stands. Uh, they have Plumet, like right there, but she still didn't stand with those instructions. And she, like her feathers were just like flying around. And I said, you know what? I, this is why I don't like small things just laying around. So I put her back in the case and um, I got to figure out what, to, what I'm going to do with her. Because, like, I don't know how to, how she stands. I mean, look, her feathers come out like this. Like, I don't know. Like, look, this is Plumet. Like, she's not broken because, like, you see, this is her. It's like these go in here in, in her uh, caboose. And then, like, you have this little metal. Yeah, this, this was aggravating. So it's little, and it's supposed to be bent, okay? This is supposed to be bent. So that's supposed to be like that. Uh, and I, I just, I work, I, I just try to get her to, to stand and she wouldn't stand no matter what I did. So uh, everything goes in correctly. It's just, uh, she just doesn't stand. Whatever, you know, it's Plumet. I love Plumet. I'll figure it out. Another thing is, uh, before we move on is that actually I'll do this first. It comes with a bell jar. Now it comes with two roses. It comes with this rose right here. This uh, rose, look, see, Plumet's feathers are all over the place. Oh boy, oh Plumet. I'm gonna, t I'm gonna talk to Lemire. Lemire's not gonna like that. He likes your feathers, as we all do. Uh, this is uh, the rose that goes in the bell jar. It comes with two roses. I thought you could interchange them, but you can't. Oh, thank you so much, Melissa, for the $1 super chat. That's so sweet of you, thank you. Uh, I'm hoping you like this uh, live stream. It's already 15 minutes and I didn't even plan on this to be 10 minutes. So I can talk. I can talk. Uh, so this is it right here. Oh, I missed you, TJ Wilson. I missed you. Hello, Erica. How you doing? Okay, so this is one of the roses that goes in the bell jar. The bell jar like this, okay? Now, bell, there's another rose that is meant for bell to be holding, okay? So... I thought you could change them out, but you can't. So this one has to go in here. It has a stand and the bell jar goes on top of it. Uh, 
yeah, the classic rose is also my favorite too. Uh, so that's cool, but I don't know. You don't want to have two roses because there's only one rose, and I'm going to have Belle hold her rose uh, when I display her. So I think that's going to go back in the box for now. Uh, okay, one more thing before we move on to Belle. Uh, and then I'll tell you what my likes and dislikes are about this doll. Uh, what we, or figure, figure, it's a figure. It's a Hot Toys figure, not a doll. Um, okay, so we have these hands. So one cool thing about this that I like a lot, which obviously you don't get with the Disney dolls, is that, uh, oh, thank you, creative guy. It is, it's quite incredible, creative guy. I can't wait to show you in a bit. She's looking at me right now, like off camera. She's looking at me and she's holding a rose. So she wants to give me the rose. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Can you uh, show if, okay. oh yes, don't worry. No, no, she's coming. I didn't show Belle yet. I didn't show Belle yet. I'm, I'm waiting to do her last. Uh, but she comes, she has like these uh, hands like this, interchangeable hands. There's four of them. It looks like, uh, well, she has actually three of them because she has two of them on right now. She's wearing a set of hands. She has three left hands, three right hands, and they're different positions. You know, uh, she can hold Chip. Uh, my favorite character to see at Disneyland? Uh, that's a question. Um, oh, thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoyed the live streams. streams. Uh, my favorite character to meet at Disneyland? That's a very hard question. I mean, because if I say anybody in particular, when I go back next week, they're going to have words with me. I do like Tinkerbell. I love Tinkerbell. I love Tinkerbell a lot. She's always so much fun. And I feel like um, with all the characters, she's probably the one I feel like is like my friend. You know, like we have so much conversation. Okay, I'm going to sit still here. Get get comfortable. Uh, so I do like Tinkerbell. Of course, I love I love Punzi, but I'm still I'm still, I'm still a little nervous with Punzi. You know, I mean, I, I you know you know Punzi is just like my favorite princess. So, uh, okay, so the, you, get, you get the hands. Okay, so now on to the big the big deal here, the big the big cheese, uh, the big feta cheese. Okay, so I'm gonna move you back a little bit like this, very slowly, very very. Hello, hello, Lauren. I'm actually moving you back. Okay, okay, you're further back. Okay. So here comes Belle. Now, I can't wait to show you. Okay, I'm gonna slide her over like this. I gotta be careful, because one of my first, one of my, one of my complaints is about to, uh, I'm about to tell you. There she comes, right here. There's Belle. Look at Belle right there, okay? So beautiful. Uh, I have her on this little rotating disc kind of thing. Well, it's manual rotating disc. But look at her. Look how cute she is. Uh, and don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll show you more of her. I'm just going to give you a, a quick still shot first so you can get an idea. So I like how this doll looks so much. I think this looks like Emma spot. I mean, I've seen a lot of dolls. My brother and I, we looked at a lot of Emma dolls from Harry Potter. Uh, there is no beast uh, from, from uh, Hot Toys. Uh... But here she is right here. Um, I'm not sure if I would get the beast anyway, to be honest. But, I mean, maybe I would. I wanted a beautiful Emma Watson as Belle. I didn't like the Disney Store doll. If you guys saw the Disney Store doll, I'm sure you did. Didn't like it. I bought it when it first came out, and I quickly returned it. Uh, creative guy. There you go. Right there. There you go. I know you wanted to see Belle. Um, I, I quickly returned it uh, because I just didn't like how it looked. I mean, I guess, you know, some people do like it. I didn't like how it looked. And then I came across this, and I, I didn't buy it when I first saw it uh, about a year or so ago because, um, yeah, Justin Bieber. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, but um, I didn't get this because I just wanted to collect dolls. I didn't want to collect figures, you know, figures... To me, I feel like, okay, if I start collecting figures, when, where do I stop? Um, but uh, this is, <laughs> Shane's laughing at Justin Bieber. Um, so this is really beautiful. Okay, so let me get, let me get the doll here. Okay, the first thing that, you, that I noticed uh, is sh her, the material she's made out of. Now, I've, I don't have any hot toys, but I, have, I don't have any, so I'm unfamiliar with them and what they're made out of. But she's like a rubber... Uh, like a rubber uh, material, and her arms bend. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna take her out of her position now, okay? So I'm gonna remove this rose, like here. Okay, I'm gonna bring her right here. Let's do this. 
I'm going to remove the rose from our, for our hands. So the rose comes out. I told you there was two roses. This is the one that she's supposed to be holding, okay? So that rose, but uh, you can see her hands there. Her hands, um, these are, I mean, I guess the other hands could be used to, for uh, holding the rose. But what I like, look how you can just put her, hand, her arms down and look. I mean, like there's no, there's no like creases at, uh, at the, uh, you know, right here where the uh, upper arm meets the forearm, which I love. I mean, that's really cool. Um, again, I don't have any hot toys, so this is all really cool to me. Uh, one thing uh, which I saw in a YouTube video so I was fully aware of, which you really, I don't know if you can really help, uh, is that where the uh, arm meets the hands right here, you have that, because her hands come off, obviously. So you really can't do anything about that. But what I found is that the way I had her, when I first showed her with her arms up, uh, like this, holding the rose, uh, you really couldn't, you couldn't see uh, those, those that much. So I'm okay with that. Uh, yeah, she's really cool. Thank you for saying so. I, I love her. Uh, so here's a water bottle. I'll, I'll bring her back a little bit. Hopefully she doesn't fall. So there's the water bottle. So you can see uh, how big she is. Now, I know the camera's not wide enough to get the whole thing, but I'll definitely show you the whole thing. Uh, she has molded hair, uh, which is new to me because all the Disney dolls I get, the 17-inch dolls, have uh, doll hair. Uh, but I think it works very well with her. Uh, I'll do a whole turnaround here. I think it really works well. She has her bun right up here. And her head does come off. Not that you would want to take it off, but it does come off if you, uh, you know, I don't know, you, there's a reason to. Uh, but when you first get her, you got to take it off to put the necklace on. Um, and the necklace is pretty good. It's a little, I think it's a little tangled right here. It's a little, it's a little Rapunzeled. Um, but, uh, okay, so before I show you the rest and then get, get you closer up on the, on the dress, I'll tell you, um, actually, no, I'll wait for my, my pros and cons. I'll wait. So let me take her off. So I'm gonna bring her, I'm gonna carry her like this. So here we have her right there. So this is a full shot of her uh, and I'll take her off the base. So the base looks like this, it says Beauty and the Beast. Uh, nothing too spectacular, but it's pretty cool. You know, uh, it has a nice design right there uh, on the bottom, it has your Disney copyright and the so basically the stand is just this clear plastic thing which comes off and you just push it on like that and that's it. There's, there's no, that, this little white hook, that's all there is. It's just like this little white hook, that's all there is uh, for the stand. It's a, it's, a, it's a very lightweight plastic. It's, uh, it's kind of cheapy a feeling, but uh, we're not here about, we're not here for the, the base, we're here for the doll. Uh, so here's the doll right here. As you can see, her beautiful dress I love it. Now, I got this, yet, or I opened it up yesterday. As you can see right here, like you see this dress right here? How like this little flap, this layer, this little layer here is a little curled. So I'm gonna iron that out because that's gonna annoy me. Um, this definitely has to be ironed out a little bit. That, that's, that's really the only issue uh, at all with the doll when it comes to the way it looks. Uh, look at the back. Look how beautiful the back is. There's like one layer, there's two layers. I think it's so authentic to the movie. Three layers, uh, really beautiful. Uh, I'll show you her shoes. Look, at, uh, let's see here. She has like these little witch pointy shoes, which are kind of interesting. I wouldn't have thought that's what the shoes looked like, but I'm sure they're very screen accurate. I never, uh, I don't think I saw the shoes ever before. When I, when I saw the costumes in person, the shoes were covered by the dress, so. Uh, very interesting shoes, yeah. Her necklace right here, as you see, uh, this comes like in a separate bag. So the head comes off and um, you put the necklace on and you put her head back on, okay? So uh, as you can see, you can pose her in many different ways. She's very flexible as far as like uh, her feet, her legs. I'm not sure why she would do, be doing uh, a kick, but she could be kicking. Uh, her arms could go behind her back, like a very, elegant, like she's kind of like holding her hands back there. I saw that pose once. 
Uh, one arm can go up as if she's holding a rose. One could be down. So she's uh, she's very she's very good. I, I like her. I like her a lot. I think she's a really really uh, good looking uh, good looking doll. Um, and she has her bloomers right there. So there's her her bloomers. So she's she's all set. She's all ready to go. She looks great. Uh, and one thing I'll show you about the articulation of the of the of the head. So look, you can like do all kinds of great things here. Look, she could be looking up. She could be looking up. She could have like a head turn. Like let's see the box, okay? You see, you see this box like right here. How she has like she's looking up and her head's turned slightly. So you can actually do that. You can actually kind of uh, you can do that. Hi, animation nerd girl. Uh, so you can actually kind of do that kind of thing. So it's really cool. Uh, so, okay, let me get uh, her back on the base. Uh, and how you put her on the base is basically you put this little hook in a very... Well, I wouldn't want a hook there. Let's put, just put it that way. I wouldn't want a hook in that area. But that's where you put it. Uh, and there she is. Oh, how beautiful. I like her even with the arm down like that. And then you could put the rose in... Uh, her heart. Now the rose has to be positioned correctly for it to go in right. Uh, maybe something like that. That will do for now. That will do for now. Uh, so, okay, let me straighten her out a little bit. So yeah, I love it. I think the dress is very accurate to the movie. Uh, I think it's very beautiful. Uh, you know what? I'll just do this. See? You can move the, you can move the hand. You can move the wrist. So yeah, I'm just playing with my Belle doll. Sorry guys, I'm just having a little bit of fun here. I actually didn't get to play with her that much yesterday uh, and look at her uh, in great detail because I opened her up in the evening and I just got back from New York. So it is very beautiful. I'm very happy. And I do like her arm down like that. You see, you can do so many different things, but I'm gonna get a nice display, like a plexiglass display case for her. Uh, and I'll put the little figure, her little, her little friends like Lumiere in there. Uh, and Cogsworth. So here are the pros and cons, okay? The pros and cons of the doll that I found out. Now, uh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest, okay? I think the pros is that it looks like Emma Watson, it looks beautiful. The doll itself is mwah, beautiful, I love it. I think it looks gorgeous. Uh, I think she's always gonna be great to add to my collection. Again, she is uh, a figure rather than a doll, so she's smaller, so, uh, as far as my collection, she'll definitely uh, be something new. Um, uh, Belle is the princess of the month this year. Oh, nice. Yeah, Belle. I like meeting Belle, too, at the park. Uh, so, I like how she looks. Uh, I think it looks like Emma Watson very much. Uh, and I think it's very elegant. And it's very screen accurate. Uh, for the price, you can't complain about that. Uh, these little figures are just like bonuses. This is like cherry on the cake. Cogsworth, Lemire, uh, just pure cherry on the cake, right? Cherries on the cake. Mrs. Potts, uh, the box is beautiful. Uh, she's very easy to assemble. I mean, the problem, okay, this is my problem. I have a big problem with this stand. Like, it's easily fixed. I mean, all you gotta do is get a, a regular doll stand. Uh, but this stand is, like, this is not secure her. Like, this is why I'm moving her around very slowly, because she slips, like you wouldn't believe, on the stand. Uh, now, of course, of course, you can lift up her dress and kind of, like, tie her down to the, to the plastic, uh, like right here. Uh, but otherwise, like, you can't really move her without holding her like this, because, like, she'll fall over. And what I'm really afraid of, if I if she falls over and lands, like, on the table or something, she can get marked up. And you don't want that for a doll that costs this amount of money. You don't want that at all. It doesn't matter what kind of... What kind of so they should have just had something that kind of, like, you know, like, clasps her, her waists under her dress. But they don't. So that was my main problem. And it still is my problem, because... She, I, it's like it's very difficult to get her to to stand properly and she just slides around but that's easily fixed and I will fix that uh, two okay these things these like plastic things that hold these little small characters up uh, like these little things right here like these little stands Lemire is okay 
But Plumet, which I showed you earlier, Plumet was difficult. Like, and I, it's kind of frustrating because it's something that's so easy. All you gotta do is this. All you gotta do is get something like this uh, for, for, for Plumet. And honestly, like, it was so frustrating. I feel like I'm just gonna leave her in the box. I might take her out, depending if I have the room, but, um, but like, like, I just like this, it just seems so clumsy. Like, I feel like, like his foot, I mean, it goes in there, but I don't know. I feel like that could have been better. Maybe I'm nitpicking with that, but that was, that was, that was a major, major issue. Um, other than that, those two things, I know they're not major. Uh, I think it's beautiful. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. I couldn't ask for anything more from a Beauty and the Beast doll. Uh, Emma Watson doll. I love it very much. I can't wait to get the display case. I'm going to hold off a little bit for the display case. I mean, the money. It's the ching ching, the ching ching. Uh, but uh, she is gorgeous. Let's take a look at, at, the, at the back again, at the back of the doll. Look at all those layers. Incredible. Love it. Love it. I like it so much. Uh, so she is going to stay on my shelf for now uh let's see there we go she's going to stay on my shelf for now uh but um until i get my display case but i think that's fine i think that's fine as far as these little guys i'll keep these guys out for now when i get my display case i'll figure it out if i'm going to keep them out uh but i would recommend it i mean she's kind of pricey i mean especially i mean I mean, especially like me, I wasn't expecting to get her. I wanted to get her. Um, so I said, okay, it was kind of like a quick purchase. Um, but uh, I can't, I, I'm not gonna complain because she's so pretty. She's such such a pretty doll. And I highly recommend her. Uh, you can get her pretty much anywhere, like eBay and Amazon and, and stuff like that. Um, I would definitely shop around uh, because you def definitely find good prices. Let's see if I can put this rose in here and bring this arm up like this but you see how she's slipping on her base you see that's what i'm talking about um there you go something like that all right well thank you so much for joining me for this uh just unexpected live stream i was not expecting to go live but i was going to record a video on this i started to do it yesterday and i figured i'm not gonna have time to edit it so uh, and i haven't seen you guys in a long time and i thought i'll do i'll just do a live stream i'll just do a live stream Thank you so much, Animation Nerd Girl, uh, for congratulating me on my new edition. I think this wraps up my dolls and my figures uh, for a while uh, because I pretty much got everything uh, that I've been wanting to get for, I mean, there's still, I still gotta get the Elsa doll. Thank you so much for the congratulations, that's so nice. Um, my Elsa doll, like the, the original uh, Queen Elsa, the queen of the, uh, Queen, the queen, you know, the, the classic blue dress. It's very expensive, but I'm not gonna get her anytime soon. Uh, who knows, maybe I will, who knows, who knows? It could be a good year, I don't know, I don't know. But uh, I don't think there's any other dolls coming out um, except for uh, Frozen 2. Uh, the Avengers figures, probably not. I may, I like, I mean, the thing is, I can't start collecting figures. Um, somebody asked if I'm collecting uh, Avengers figures. Uh, I definitely collect Avengers Pops. I, I bought a whole, I think about five or six Avengers Pops the other day, and I just picked up, actually, um, uh, the Genie, uh, a, a Diamond Edition of Genie Funko Pop, so today. Um, but uh, as far as figures, I don't know. Maybe, you never say never. Maybe I'll get a Black Widow, because I, I like Black Widow. Um... You know, I don't know. I haven't seen Captain Marvel yet, but I mean, I think she's, she looks cool and I like my, my female characters, my female superheroes. Uh, maybe I'll get a Tony Stark, who knows? But um, as of right now, I'm gonna enjoy this. But yeah, Frozen 2, um, Frozen 2 is gonna be pretty big because you know there's going to be at least two dolls of Elsa and two dolls of Anna in different costumes. I mean, that's, that's bare minimum. Yes, uh, uh, somebody asked there, I can't see, said if we're going to have a live stream on Saturday. Yes, we are back. Uh, we're going to have a live stream on Saturday morning at 10 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, yes, the Frozen 2 dolls will be gorgeous. So join us every Saturday at 10 a.m. 
uh, right here on the YouTube channel for a, it's like an hour and a half show, hour, hour and a half show, where we talk about everything Disney. Uh, and uh, there's, there's actually, the, the live stream um, video is up, so you can actually go there and, and set a reminder. If you are new to this channel, please like and subscribe. We would love to have you. I do a lot of Disneyland stuff, a lot of, Dis I mean, all Disney stuff most of the time. I'm actually making a movie now, so you'll see some behind the scenes of me making a movie later in the year. I do some doll stuff. I do all kinds of stuff. So if you like the stuff, come enjoy the stuff. Chuck, come and join the stuff. Thank you so much, everybody. I will see you Saturday. Uh, yes, yeah, Saturday. What? Saturday's almost here. One more day, folks. We got Friday, and then we have Saturday, and then we can enjoy the weekend. Thank you so much for joining me. Say goodbye, Emma. Say goodbye to